What's up folks out in the internet and YouTube land? This is Joel here at Chicago Music Exchange. And today I'm showcasing for you something that's very cool and sort of near and dear to my heart. This is our new exclusive CME Gibson SG standard. And what makes it cool? Well, I'm gonna tell you all about why it's cool. This is without a doubt the most bang for the buck SG that exists right now. As you can tell by the styling, it's sort of a mixture of a handful of things. It's got a small guard, like a 61 reissue. Standard control layout, bridge, tailpiece, all that good stuff. But we did a tortoise guard because it's cool. Why not? Nobody else has it. We have tortoise guards on our SGs. Also, we have the small block inlays like the 70s SGs did, which, again, it's a cool era. Some of the guitars aren't necessarily that great, but they look cool. So we kind of like did a little bit of a tribute to that. So you get the small blocks like the 70s, the small guard like the early 60s, and then we went a step further and we got exclusive pickups. That's the thing you should get really excited about with these. Other than everything else just being great and well made, SGs are simple. You can't really screw them up. So what's nice about it. But these pickups are also exclusive for Chicago Music Exchange. And they are called the T-Type pickups. And you're like, that sounds a lot like T-Top. Well, it's supposed to because they are remakes of T-Tops. So it makes sense, right? The reason why they're called T-Type is because if you take these covers off, there's no T on the bobbin. Right? So there's no reason to call it a T-top, it's literally, there's no T there. But it's the same type of thing. Uh, it's an Alnico 5 magnet, it's underwound, they're like around 7.2-ish each. Um, so it's definitely underwound. And the most important thing for the magic of the T-type tone is that it has, just like the old ones, polyurethane coated wiring. But the main thing is T-tops, why are they cool? Well, do you like the sound of like Led Zeppelin, Jimmy Page, that type of thing? Well, he put a T-top in the bridge of his Les Paul in like 71, 72. So generally all of, in my opinion, the best Zeppelin recordings and all of, in my opinion, the best live Zeppelin stuff is all Jimmy Page playing his like famous Les Paul with a PAF in the neck and a T-top in the bridge. And that's how he gets those massive crunchy but still articulate and snarly lead sounds because it's a little bit of a hotter full-bodied pickup than a normal PAF, but it's still really clear, has a great top end, it's got a lot of body to it, but it never gets muddy. It's just a really great sounding pickup, all-time kind of a sleeper pickup, and, and really kind of the quintessential T-tops, like 69 to 73, 74 there, kind of before they moved all the Les Paul production to Nashville. And so this is based on the early T-Tops, just a great, great, great sounding pickup. You can only get it in our guitars. One of the coolest things about our SGs, other than the fact that it's got our pickups and got the cool small tortoise guard, is that we've got a bunch of custom colors like walnut, olive drab, frost blue, gloss yellow, shell pink, ebony, coral, Carrie Fisher green, rest in peace, Carrie green. Also a cherry, but you know what that looks like. I don't have it here to show you right now. Per usual, I figured I'd play these guitars through a Tone King Imperial in a CME exclusive lacquered tweed wrap because these amps sound great and I wanted the guitar to sound great. So that's what that's about. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, CME exclusive SGs, they're $14.99. They're an outrageous deal. Um, it's like a way better 61 reissue, basically. You can only buy it here. 